Hi there guys, so Christmas is just around the corner and boy do we have a treat for December 7th. The undercard has been announced, or at least three fights have. Now, one of them, Filip Perogovic against Eric Molina. You also have Scott Quigg taking on John O'Carroll and you have Michael Hunter taking on Alexander Povetkin. Now these are three solid fights. Now in my personal opinion, the weakest one is Hergovic versus Molina because I don't believe Molina has shown us all that much and he has had his drug cheat problems in the past as well, but he hasn't shown us all that much to make us believe that he will be a tough task and a step up for Filip Hergovic who is knocking a lot of people out and he is making waves in the heavyweight division. Albeit, I mean, he's quite one dimensional. It's not necessarily pretty, but I would imagine being in the ring with him, it's a whole different ball game. He brings a lot of pressure and he's hard to get away from and he doesn't seem to tire in fights, which is quite surprising considering his large stature. Now, Povetkin versus Hunter. What an incredible fight this is. Now, this will be chief support and what a chief support it is. Another huge heavyweight fight and Obviously, Povetkin is coming off a great win over the youthful and young Huey Fury, who is a great young fighter and a great prospect still coming through. He has had a world championship fight against Joseph Parker, narrowly losing that. So Povetkin had a great fight against him and won convincingly. So ultimately, this is a great chief support because you have Michael Hunter, the giant slayer as well, who looks like a cruiserweight, but seems to be knocking down all of these big heavyweights. So this is going to be a very intriguing fight. And Michael Hunter may go on to fight the winner of Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua at some stage, because there seems to be no stopping him at this stage. Now, Scott Quigg versus John O'Carroll. Now, this will be a very intriguing fight, because I believe it is a fight to see where they both are in their careers, and to see where they can still go in their careers, because if Scott Quigg can't beat John O'Carroll, then maybe he's not going to win another world title. And same with John O'Carroll. If he cannot beat Scott Quigg, then maybe he won't get another world title shot. And I guess you would have to say that John O'Carroll is the opponent in this matchup. Scott Quigg is the A side. So ultimately, this fight card is shaping up very, very well. Hunter versus Povetkin is a great chief support. Hergovic versus Molina, I was a bit skeptical to start with, but I guess it could be a good fight. And Hergovic will most likely get the stoppage against Molina. Molina has pushed Deontay Wilder and other fighters in the past, and even hurt Deontay Wilder, and at this stage for Hergovic, it probably is a good fight, a good test for him. Also, John O'Carroll and Scott Quigg is a very good fight as well, I believe. That will be a very intriguing matchup. So guys, Christmas has come early on December 7th. What a card this is shaping up to be. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? The undercard fights that have been announced for December 7th on the undercard of Anthony Joshua's challenge to reclaim the World Unified Heavyweight Championships from Andy Ruiz Jr. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.